I'm always a firm believer in studying agriculture in general because these next generation are going to be our future feeders, clothers, and suppliers. And horticulture is a very big part of that. Horticulture doesn't just encompass pretty flowers and large shade trees. It also deals with your fruit and your vegetables and the different weeds and all the different things that you eat every day comes somewhere from horticulture. If you walk into your grocery store, generally the first thing that you see is horticulture. You've got all the fruits, all the vegetables, all of that is horticulture. There's a $1.2 billion industry in ornamental landscape between Dallas and Tyler. And we're right in the middle of it. Before I became a university professor, I actually spent about 15 years in the landscape industry in Dallas. And I've been able to use the, not only the contacts, but the experience that I had in the industry to help build this program to something that's a little bit different. Everything that we do here is hands-on. From the landscapes around the Ag Building to the landscapes around the Plant Science Center, we have people that are doing commercial maintenance out here. We're, we have people that are doing commercial level installations here. We have people that are doing professional level growing in greenhouses here. And that's something that makes us very unique and very special because I'm able to actually provide that hands-on experience and that professional expertise that allows people to get into the industry and to be successful. There are several different avenues that you can take with a horticulture degree that I didn't know existed. All the way from an arborist with a tree or a greenhouse manager with the littlest of uh, plant plugs. I have a former student who is a representative for a floral supplier in China now. We've had people that have worked in Costa Rica. We have people that work all over the country, all over the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. And they're all good jobs and, and really nice opportunities that allow you to see the world learning all the different plants and their scientific names. It felt like a superpower because then I would go out with my family and friends and I would point to a different plant and I could easily identify that that was a live oak. It was a Quercus virginiana and this has palmate compound leaves and this has a serrate leaf margin. I felt so smart and also in touch with the world around me.